Legal uh, and Consulting and joins me now. Uh, Minister, um, I mean, besides the snigger that Zoom's asked people to come back, actually, what Zoom's done is entirely consistent with a managed policy. If you live nearby, two days a week, back in the office. But this pendulum, I'm looking for a pen so I can do it, this pendulum of backwards and forwards, we don't have any... Do we have any guiding principles yet? Well, I think the reality is you can't put the hybrid work genie 100% back in the bottle. I think workers like the flexibility and the independence. And at the same time, they see the value of working in person at appropriate times. So I think the recent news doesn't mean remote work is over. I think it simply means it's nuanced. So now we're looking for the principles of that nuance, because every company is going to be different. Look, you know, I, I, I broadcast from home during the pandemic, but now I've been back in the office for the last two and a half, three years. So what principles are you seeing for, for, for this? Yeah, I think many organizations are being thoughtful as there's not really a one size fits all approach. I think I'm a great example. Like I'm, I'm, I work in both the office and I work remotely so I can juggle running the company and getting my kids to wherever they need to go. But I'm in the office when there's a purpose, you know, for collaboration on projects, uh, team building, training, mentoring, brainstorming, you, you get the idea. I think, I think two things can be true at the same time. Remote work has its benefits and it has its challenges. So I think U.S., you mentioned our polling that we recently did here in the U.S., and in that polling, we found that employees get this. They, they know that some work is performed better in person, especially when it requires collaboration. So, for example, 82% of right. workers say team building is better handled in person. But I think employees have also deep and valid concerns about commuting times and work-life okay. balance. So often it seems to me one of the issues in terms of WFH is when you want to work for... Look, I, you know, I fully accept that you can work from home X number of days or whatever. The problem is when the boss wants those... You know, says, I need you in the... You, you've requested to work from home on a Thursday or whatever. And I'm saying, well, I actually need you in the office that day. And your entitlement over my ability to instruct you in becomes a conflict. For sure, I think I think you're balancing. Um, I think you're balancing the organization, which is trying to achieve high performance, while also trying to retain your top talent, right? Because you're saying you're talking about the line that that employers are drive are like are draw mm -hmm. are drawing. But I think it, I think it's the important thing is to listen to two things. I think it's to listen to your employees and be flexible. So I think it means seeking their input and taking that into consideration. And I think flexibility may mean permitting remote work for individual tasks or rethinking traditional work schedules, having collaborative time in the workplace. I, I think the key is that most employees agree that a certain degree of in-person work is important. They just don't like mandates and rigid rules on how they get their work done. I wonder whether this is a, a millennial Gen Z type thing, <laughs> you know, um, whereas those of us and of, of a certain era are far more, ah, just get your ass into the office. Oh, I, I definitely think there are some generational differences for, without a doubt. Um, I definitely think folks, the workers that are older workers, are, we're used to this, right? We're, yeah. we, we've we've yeah. come to work every day yeah. for our, our whole careers. Um, but we also now have a generation that started work during the pandemic and never has come to an office. Oh. So I think we're... Right. It's a, it's a, it's the two, two, two extremes. Who's better off you at home or me in the office? I'm sitting in a studio <laughs> and you're sitting there with, with your furry slippers on uh, <laughs> at home in sweat. I, I can't work out. All right. It's lovely to see you. We'll talk more about it. Thank you very much. Great.